In this quick lecture, I'm going to overview the service application and the objects associated with it. And what am I talking about? Well, if you go up here in your Salesforce Lightning, you will see the app launcher. And this will help you see the objects attached to each app. Okay. And so what this helps you do is organize your objects so that if you're in marketing, you can see the objects that are critically related to your work. I'm going to talk a little bit about the service object. So if I click the service application, I can see the objects attached to it. Now remember, you can always use the settings to add um, navigations to these, and you can also see which ones you want or not. You can always look at your global actions as well if yours don't appear. And alternatively, if you click this, you can also see all the objects right down here. Okay, so I'm not going to overview that. I just want to talk to you a little bit about each of these. So we have chatter, organizations, contacts, cases, reports, dashboards, materials, and answers. Let's take a look. If I go to chatter, I can post, poll, and question. And I can also see what I follow, who has posted to me. And I can also see some information uh, that appears here. I can look at reports, notice this. We can actually preview this information. And this helps us look at some of the reports, budgets, and others. We can write comments and even share an update, similar to Facebook. We can also poll. We can ask questions and ask people to vote. This is helpful for fun things like activities, but it can also be important for others where you need a consensus around certain key questions. You can also ask questions um, related to specific streams and this is helpful because multiple people can respond to these but you can also limit these to people uh, in order to get the most up-to-date information. You can tag specific people, add emojis, pictures and the like. You can also create a stream uh, and that allows you to keep a record all right, and also to keep track of multiple communications. You can also create groups as well, and this helps you, uh, if you're in a sales team, for example, this really helps you keep your information together. All right, let's look at organizations. I don't have any organizations in my list at the moment because I wanted to use this opportunity to show you how to create one, okay? We can either import an organization or create a new organization. We can look at our list, and we can even look at our different controls and edit them, all right? So if I click New, this will ask me what type of organization I am creating. Let's say I'm creating a development organization. I can then use this to, I'm just going to call this ABC. I can use this organization and I can create a parent organization. And I'll cover all of this in another video. However, this is where you would go in. You can create new, you can also click up here, and you can add organizations up here if that's what you need to do. Let's look at some contacts. You can look at the amount of contacts that you've added. You can look at cases that are in the pipeline over here. Reports, specifically reports that you may have saved to this specific, um, you know, you can run a report right here. You can look at dashboards that have been created. And you can look at materials and their respective answers. And this is really helpful, right? Now, I'm using a demo version of Salesforce, so the information isn't updated here. And there's a reason behind that, and that is that I want you to really see what is in this specific application. So that is an overview of the service application, and that helps you manage your customer service, right? Your contacts, your cases, and more. In other videos, I'll be covering marketing, community, chatter, content, sales console, Service Console Sales and Lightning Usage App.